Funky Sats. I'm Professor TJ. And I'm her assistant, Nelly Welly. And today we have an interesting experiment for you. But first, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. But before we start, let us tell you something about this experiment. Lift off. Making your own rocket launcher sounds like the most fun there is. How about creating a terrifying flying bat rocket for Halloween? It's super easy and these step-by-step -step instructions are there to help you. For this experiment, you will need a plastic bottle, a plastic bendy straw, a pair of scissors, a cutout of a bat, a piece of paper, and a piece of plasticine. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Safety first! All the time. So now you're ready? Yeah. We're going to do a Halloween experiment. Spooky! Ooh, are you ready? Yeah! So we're going to make a flying bat. Okay. And we're going to do it right now. So what we're going to do first, we have our bottle here. And then you see this plasticine? We're going to wrap it around the straw, or maybe you can do that. Then we'll take our bat drawing that Nelly really so graciously drew for us. And then take some celery. Then you're going to do one try and find the bat. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Do you? Yes. Yeah. So make this small. Okay. So I take my your bat. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then. Ha. Right. Whoa! Your flying bat rocket is amazing, don't you think? And how does it operate? Well, your flying bat rocket is a nice illustration of pressure. The only way that the air can pass through is through the tiny hole at the end of your straw. Thus, as pressure builds in your bottle as you squish it up, the air passes through the tiny hole. By quickly exhaling, you force out your flying bat rocket across the room. Whoosh! Whoosh! I hope you at home are able to do this experiment. This is all we have for you today. Don't See you next time on Funky Science. Bye! Bye.